this goldfish reunion is the first time that Ben and I have worked together in front of the camera since, I don't know, I was like 11 years old when we were doing Little Monsters. So this is definitely like a uh, cause for celebration. I'm here with Fred and Ben Savage, the Savage Brothers. It really sounds like a wrestling name. Like it really does. We we would have been we would have been a killer tag team duo. You would have. I yeah, absolutely. We, we missed we missed it. We missed it, Ben. We could have we could have been <laughs> could have been or, or we still could be. I don't know. It's not too late. Yeah, I mean, there's always a chance that it could still happen. I mean, there's new contracts going out every day, right? Um, we are here to chat about lots of different things, but we're going to start by talking about goldfish megabytes now i'm gonna level with you i have not tried goldfish megabytes yet oh steven i would love to know more about them if you could tell me i'm so excited for you i'm so excited for you because i remember my first time trying goldfish megabytes and the fun <laughs> that was had and i can't wait for what's ahead of you um <laughs> You like you ate goldfish as a kid. We all did. Oh man! Listen, like, I'm a father of three. I'm still eating goldfish. Like oh, wow, by the handfuls whenever I have a break. <laughs> you, father of three, goldfish were with me as a kid through college. Now as a father, they're <laughs> always around. So imagine the your favorite as a kid, but just bigger and oh. bolder and oh, cheap. Man. And yeah. uh, it's 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 uh, they, they they it's just the same. It's the same fun experience. They taste just as great. They're just a bigger, bolder flavor, and the the goldfish themselves are bigger. Um, mm. Still eat them by the handful. Uh, but <laughs> just larger. In the hand. <laughs> no, you're gonna, then, you're gonna get, get ready. Get okay. ready. You're gonna, you're gonna I'm, love I'm, them. I'm trying to. I'm getting pumped, man. I'm amped. Ben, I, I'm I know they're, they're like we started eating them. Um, you know, when we, when we started doing this partnership with goldfish, like, well, you should yeah. try the megabytes and they're like my favorite thing. I can't get enough of them. I bring them to work now and it's unbelievable how, um, you know, you give like an adult, a handful of goldfish and like they're instantly nine years old. It's, it's <laughs> that is such a great point. It's true. I know there's two kinds. I know there's, there's uh sharp cheddar and, and, and jalapeno. Am I right? A cheddar jalapeno, which my nine-year-old son uh, accurately, he's, he's like, the kick comes in at the end. And uh, he's absolutely right. They taste like your regular cheesy goldfish. And at the end, that little jalapeno. That, that burn. I, I'm a classic. You know, I, I, I like a classic, so I like the cheddar. But um, with a little kick, I think the cheddar jalapeno could be could be for you. <laughs> ben, let me ask, do you have a favorite? Is there, is, does you lean one I way? I like the original. I'd say okay. the original classic is always my favorite. But... Um, yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with the original. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. We uh, we keep goldfish around. I mean, you got to get to put them in the uh, the lunch boxes and all that good stuff. Got to have them if you're going to the park. Yeah, grew up right. with it. Grew up with it. Yes, park. Uh, you know, on the way to you know soccer practice or a little mm -hmm. league game or a dance recital. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of goldfish were eaten in the back seat of. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I feel like what I need to do now is I need to get just like a bunch of bags of the sharp cheddar, right? For me, and that the jalapeno ones for my wife. She loves the like spicy stuff. That's oh, she's all about that. And I'm just hide them around the house. <laughs> as like a little surprise, like oh, okay. open the ottoman. Look at that. Megabytes, goldfish, megabytes, right here. <laughs> well, that's cool, man. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. I need to put that on my grocery list. Maybe I think uh, I need to make sure that that gets on there. In Milk. stores now. Treat Eggs. yourself, Stephen. You're Ever. gonna love it. And goldfish megabytes. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, you guys have been working for, I mean, years, and and something that caught my eye. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Is it seems like you've only worked together twice? Is that correct? Little Monsters and then when Fred was on Boy Meets World, right? Well, am I, am I mistaken? Yeah, I mean it was you, I think I mean uh in front of the camera this, this like this okay, in front of the camera, gold, excuse me. This yes, goldfish exactly. reunion. This goldfish reunion is the first time that Ben and I have worked together in front of the camera since I don't know. I was like 11 years old when we were doing Little Monsters. So this is definitely like a uh, cause for celebration, like a special yeah, occasion. Uh, just, you know, it's it's not something we do 
often every 30 years, <laughs> uh, uh, we, we, we want to do it. And, and we couldn't think of a better way uh, to, to come together than, than, than with goldfish. That's awesome. Um, ben, I want to ask you, you know, gosh, man, um, Boy Meets World, huge show for me when I was growing up. Honestly, I, I watched the Wonder Years. I watched uh, Boy Meets World. Um, Boy Meets World was 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 big for me. I would, you know, go to like a uh, 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 church uh, or school and like talk to like my friends. Like, did you see Boy Meets World this week? Um, do you feel at all maybe responsible for the like explosion of sitcom revivals that has taken place? I mean, because Girl Meets wow. World came out in 2014. Um. And it was right around that time that you started to see kind of like the big comeback for lots of the classic, you know, sitcoms. I mean, how do you, how do you feel about being a breaking ground on that? You're pioneers. Well, I'm flattered that you think we're responsible <laughs> for the explosion of reboots, but um, I, I, I can only speak for us that I think it was a wonderful chance to kind of continue to explore the show and some explore some wonderful themes and some wonderful characters. And um yeah, I think there is just something about the reboots that, you know, and, and Fred could speak to this as well, but it's 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 nostalgia, it's comfort, and it's a nice opportunity to kind of explore um, the past. And we had a wonderful time. And um, yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's um, I think there's a comfort and, 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 and a, I don't know, I think people really enjoy kind of the nostalgia of it all, as you're saying. I agree. Yeah. It, for me, it was really great too, because um, my son, who is 14 now, uh, was a big fan. And so it was something we got to watch together. And so it was like really cool kind of like well, sharing. To us, and and to, to us, that means the world to us because it, it's a nice chance for generations to come together and for parents to watch shows with their kids. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's, it's, it's a great opportunity to kind of explore those same stories and those same characters and those same lessons. So... And since we're talking about that, we have to talk about the Wonder Years. Uh, what, what what do you like to call it, Fred? I mean, reboot, reimagining. Um, what term do you feel is best appropriate? Steve, we've been using reimagining. Reimagining, okay. It's something that we've kept kind of the core DNA uh, mm -hmm. of the first Wonder Years. Um, you know, it's a story. It's a kind of a first-person narrative uh, mm -hmm. about a guy looking back on his childhood. And we have our, our narrator is Don Cheadle and is looking back on his adolescence, you know, growing up as a 12 year old in 1968. So like that core DNA is the same, only this time it's a brand new family. It's a completely different family, it takes place in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, and, uh, and I think, you know, like any great, uh, you know, a re reimagining, uh, you know, it takes something that, like Ben was saying, it's something that's familiar, something that we all know and recognizes, uh, and then builds on on that on that original thing. And I think that um, you know we've tried to do that with uh, uh, with this new reimagining of the Wonder Years, and uh, and the good people Goldfish have done the same with Megabytes, which is take something that we all know and love and remember and build on it and do something uh, even bigger and and bolder. And, um, and so uh, it just seemed like this fit between what Ben did with Girl Meets World, built on something, you know, familiar and created something new. I'm doing with the Wonder Years. Um, they're doing with Goldfish. So it seemed like a very natural partnership. That is the most seamless full circle I have ever had the pleasure of witnessing, Fred. That was. But I am a professional. Don't try this at home. Don't no, try this at home. No. It's not for the faint of heart. No. 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 <laughs> Well, guys, listen, it has been an honor to get to sit and chat with you today. I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, very excited about uh, Goldfish Megabytes. I'm eager to try them. I'm going to go get a bag right now. I'm going to end this do. call. I'm going to go get a bag right now. Share them with your 14-year-old. He's going to love them. I'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll buy him his own bag because I don't want to, like, get half in and then be like, oh, no, I can't let you know. I, 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 I have a 15-year-old and a 13-year-old. They're not going to want to share with dad. They're going to want their own. Gotta get, be own bags. Get, own. get in their own bags. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. Right. Have a great day, guys.